Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software and welcome to this uh, first video in this series on meta tags in Madcap Flare. So we're talking about metadata here. Now metadata is just, uh, it's data about data. That's literally what it means, but you kind of have to see it in its context and its use in order to understand its value. For example, you go into an art museum and you see a painting up on the wall, uh, but it's not just that painting. You see a placard next to it and the placard is going to tell you uh, the title and the artist's name and the year it was painted and the medium and the size. There's all this other information. So it's not the piece of art, but it's information about it and it adds value in that sense. So uh, that's just one example. Now in Flare, you can create and use meta tags, which are a kind of metadata. So you would use these in your Flare files to find, identify, and control the different kinds of information that you have. Now, you need to understand up front that there are sort of these industry standard meta tags that are just recognized by different software, but then there's also unique meta tags that you can make up. So industry standard, I'm talking about things like search engines. There, there are certain meta tags that are named a certain way and search engines just recognize these. And so, you know, that will affect uh, your content when people do searches um, or, or their social media apps and, and they recognize certain uh, meta tags. Okay, those are industry standard, but then you can just create your own. You can create your own for whatever, whatever purpose you think of. Another thing to understand when you're working with meta tags in Flare is that there is this system of inheritance like there is with other things in Flare. So you can create meta tags up, you know, at a high level on, on these things we called meta tag sets, but then it, it sort of uh, trickles down. It's... Uh, these these names, these meta tag names and the values can be inherited down lower uh, lower uh, on the inheritance chain as you go. So it starts out high with meta tag sets and then it goes down to projects and targets and template pages. And uh, what else here? I'm thinking snippets and topics, micro content files, micro content phrases. So I'll put the image up on here so you can see it. Uh, so they, 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 these things inherit. And so it, it saves you time. It's you're, you're really single sourcing here, having to create things in one place rather than, you know, in a whole bunch of different places. And uh, th there are a couple of other file types not on this image that also use meta tags, uh, images and multimedia files. It's just that they don't inherit these things. So I'll talk about inheritance more later, but that is an important part of this in Flare. Now, outputs, what outputs are we talking about? Well, mostly we're talking about HTML5 outputs. However, uh, there are other outputs also that can benefit from the meta tags, PDF and Word. You can um, generate these outputs and meta tags will be there too in, in the properties. So that's, that's really neat. Now, why, why would you use meta tags at all, okay? Is, it, is this just busy work? No, it's not. There's, there's really good uses for these things. For, so the main uses are for one thing, um, search engine optimization, SEO. So like I said, there are just meta tags that are recognized by these search engines and they can have an effect on, on, your, uh, on your output, on people's, uh, you know, you know enticing people to click on that, you know? Um, so there's that, or whether, whether or not the output actually even shows up in, in the search results. There's content management. That's another big use for meta tags. So your source files, you need to be able to, you know, control that information. Uh, so there's that, you might do scripting. You might create scripts in your Flare project and you could tie into your meta tags. Another really good use for meta tags is micro content integration. And I'm actually going to talk about that in this other video series on micro content. Uh, so you can see exactly how the meta tags are used to present micro content in your output. Now, 
this is just the first video in this series. We've got others. Uh, the next, what, what else I'm going to cover after this is meta tag sets. That's the next video. And it's probably best to watch these videos in order if you can, because they're going to build one upon the other. So meta tag sets, going to talk about that. Then I'm going to talk about meta tag, setting meta tag values on files, because that's the next thing you do. I'll get in a little into a little bit more on the SEO benefits of uh, meta tags in another video after that. And then the next video, content management, talk a little bit more about that and show how you can use it in Flare. Um, I'm then going to talk about markup because when you create these meta tags, it shows up kind of behind the scenes in your head tags, in uh, in your source files and in, and in your output. And I'm gonna show you what that's like and, and things you need to understand about that. And then finally, I'll wrap it up with a video on how the Madcap doc team uses meta tags because you know, I get these questions sometimes from people. Like, well, what do you do? The people like to see how other people are using things and, and maybe that'll help you understand or maybe you'll get ideas um, and, uh, the way that I I'm using it now, it, it, it'll evolve just like anything else. You'll, you'll discover other things and you'll add and you'll change. So I'm going to share with you what, what we do. So that is, uh, that's a basic introduction to meta tags. And, uh, I'm just going to see you in the next video where we're going to start and talk about meta tag sets. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.